Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well today. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here in this video or any of my other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. The energy is very powerful. Um, this is gonna be a spirit realm message. We have the solar eclipse coming up in a few days and I feel as though our spiritual teams, our guides, our angels, our divine ancestors and the divine want to make us aware of some things. Um, I feel like the solar eclipse is going to bring about powerful new energy for healing and transformation and help us prepare for new opportunities that are coming up in the coming season. And I just wanted to connect and see what it is that they want us to know today. So welcome if you're new. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I love you guys so very much. I hope that you're doing well and keeping your vibrations high and taking it one day at a time. There's also a very hint, uh, heavy energy that I've been picking up on um, confusion about direction, um, what, which way to go and what you should be doing and if this is okay or if that is okay. And I feel like the divine is urging us to just breathe, okay? The more that we breathe, release, and connect, clear our energy, stay grounded, stay calm, it's easier for us to be able to connect, to get spiritual nudges and for them to guide us, okay? But when we're in a frenzy and we're worried and we're stressed, then we're not as easily um, able to connect with them. The sun just sprouted out as I said that, okay? That's a sign. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So in this season, I feel like we are coming into really, um, they're saying, they show me the word polarity, okay? So while we are coming into very positive, uh, forward movement there are some adverse energies that they want us to be mindful of and I feel like w the main the main concept that we're going to get here is about um, our spiritual practices um, what we're doing to keep our energy cleansed to remain calm to be alert and aware of our situations but not to be engaged with any nonsense not letting people bother us focusing on the things that we need to continue to heal so that any attempts to uh, attack us will be uh, ineffective it's all about proactivity is what I'm feeling but I feel like there's going to be uh, just a bunch of different messages for different for all of us um, so this may not be a cohesive message. It may be, but um, I feel like they want to talk to us today. So let's go ahead and take a few long, deep breaths. They're guiding me to light an incense. So hold on, y'all. Ironically, they want me to get the relaxing incense. <laughs> okay. That energy of anxiousness is heavy. Let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you are feeling at this time.
Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides of the highest white light, we love you and we thank you for your guidance, your protection, and your support. I call upon you now. Please connect with me. Please allow me to channel the current energies to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. Please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Haniel, and Archangel Raphael. Please connect with us. Please help us to cleanse and clear our energy, to cleanse and clear our mind. Help us to receive the messages that you have for us. And so it is, I say. All right. So, I'm going to shuffle through and pull out however many cards I'm guided to out of each of these decks and also pull some angel numbers. They want me to do this first, so I'm just closing my eyes and I'll pull a few of these, mixing them up. Let's get one more. Okay, so we have, wow, 1111, 11, already starting off strong, 333, three, three. this is all about our angelic and ancestral protection, and we have the number 12, which breaks down to another three, so that's 3333 three, three, and 1111, 11. but we're also going to look up angel number 12, these will have some specific messages for us. All right, so where are we going first, Holy Spirit? Okay, they want a few of these. Okay, we have honesty. I feel like that's coming up because until we are fully honest with ourselves, yeah, we cannot be at peace and that is the main message i felt a heavy energy of anxiety or anxiousness or just not being at peace with what you're meant to be doing or what you have done or whatever that this is what they want to do i'm trying to tell you they want to talk today We love you, ancestors, spirit guides. This incense is rather strong. I'll relight it in a second, but right now it is very strong. Okay. Working for the most high. God is speaking already. I haven't pulled one card out. Okay, so whoever I'm picking up on right now that might be feeling anxious or stressed or worried or uh, concerned about your purpose, God is wanting you to know, your spirit guides and ancestors are, are letting you know, what is it that you love that you can do that helps raise the vibration of humanity? Whatever that is, as long as it's upright and with good intention, God is like, you're still working for me. It's okay. See this happy face here? It's okay. You don't have to stress about, I don't know. I think, I feel like somebody here wants to do something big and that's beautiful and that's great. Okay. <laughs> we got workplace haters. Okay. So consider the earth our workplace. Okay. We got a lot of haters out here that don't want us to be doing anything or that want us to be confused about what we're supposed to be doing. But God is saying you are growing, okay? Don't be so stressed out about, they want this out, about what, ooh. Okay, so we're being warned about some things right off top. Don't be so worried about what to do. First, number one, I'm here. Make sure it makes you happy. Make sure you enjoy doing whatever this is. 
Okay, we have Welcome Home. And one more, Holy Spirit. Okay, we have Runner. Okay, let's talk about these before we move on any further. And we have Hidden, okay? With this Solar Eclipse energy, this is the overall energy, okay? The solar eclipse hides, you know, things, okay? The red flags, the fallen angels. I just said we are, Earth is our workplace, our school. And we have a lot of haters here. Red flags, stop and no. Fallen angels, okay? Runner and welcome home I feel like at this time there's a lot of hidden enemies that are going to do their best to take us to a lower vibration to bring us into this runner energy so that we don't get to this place Okay, or we don't stay in that place. There are signs that we're going to be shown because right now, keyword hidden. Okay, there's going to be a lot of agents right now that are being enlisted to come against us. So let's see what. Okay, they're guiding me to this deck. Let's just get some of the messages. See what we can look for. Yeah, with hidden, it's gonna look like a safe bet. These are people that are gonna want us to believe. I just heard, just cleanse your energy. I just heard that. So this is the stay ready so we ain't got to get ready energy, okay? Because if we, if you quiet your mind and you listen, they will reveal who they are, okay? They want us to be distracted so that they can catch us off guard. What's red flags, Holy Spirit? Red flags, stop and no. Okay, we have Leo, okay? Um... This is strength card energy. This is summertime energy. It could be something significant about the months of July and August. But what I'm getting with the Leo energy is the lion, the strength card. Someone that wants to dominate. Someone that wants to be the king or queen of the jungle. Someone that wants to overpower. Okay? That is a sign of someone that is trying to force their way somehow, okay? And we have outgoing here. This person could be outgoing or the people may be outgoing or I feel like they're showing me this because these people are going to be going out of their way to force some type of situation on us at this time. What else for a red flag? This person could very well be a Leo. I'm hearing hot tempered. Somebody that's hot tempered. Okay. Poor boundaries in the reverse. This means strong boundaries. Set strong boundaries at this time. I'm hearing from from anyone that is questionable to you and those that aren't okay make sure you maintain your boundaries make make sure that you are uh, keeping a close eye on people that are around you right now okay the people these people are getting crafty out here especially around these uh the eclipse and new moons and these types of things one more please for red flag Okay. 
we have health in the reverse okay this person could be in bad health or this person could be trying to uh, manifest bad health for you something significant about health also I feel like the music just stopped so this is important for somebody I feel like it's important for us to pay attention to our health um, we have on this card it says red flag stop and no so if you have been nudged about stopping something if you feel like your guides are talking to you about um, getting a health checkup or something like that okay it's very important okay with the Leo card and the strong boundaries here um, the summertime could be significant for concerning a health checkup or something and um, with the strong boundaries they're wanting you to really cut something off for someone here to make sure that you are in good health okay yeah <laughs> with friend zone on the bottom it's just like cutting out you know putting something away cutting something out they're showing me the queen of swords all right, what's Fallen Angels, Holy Spirit? Fallen Angels. One more, okay. We have Intelligent, friend zone, friend zone, and Unrequited Love, okay? So this is somebody that does not love you. They have an objective. This person may have been someone you were connected to and you have friend zone or someone that you are currently connected to that you're connected to that you are being guided to friend zone this person is intelligent this person is going to try to work their way back into your energy look bottom of the deck again safe bet so this is somebody that you could have trusted in the past or you currently trust we're being uh, guided to have a really keen eye on those around us because it's not the person, it's the entity, okay? These entities, these demonic entities and energies are bouncing around people at this time. They could bounce around in your family member, in your employer, in your coworkers, in your cousin, sister, brother, mother, father, uh, whatever, okay? So that means that we have to be pristine clean. I mean, I know it's not an easy thing to do to keep your energy cleansed at all times, but once you start getting in a, in a good, clear energy, anytime something creeps in and you know, you'll know, like, this is not my energy. What is this? Okay. You can say your protection prayers to block things out and set those strong boundaries because these folks are trying it. Safe bet wanted to follow fall out. Okay. These people are going to look like a safe bet. Something It's okay to do something. Okay. But the divine is saying no free time in the sense of we don't have time to be open, free with these people. Okay. We got to set our boundaries. What's runner, Holy Spirit? Aries. Okay. Emperor energy. This is this airy season as well. So this is like a current message. Compassionate in the reverse. So there could have been someone in, that you were connected to that uh, ghosted you, walked away from you. Um, we're also in Mercury retrograde in addition to the solar eclipse energy that's coming. So at this time, there are going to be a lot of people coming back. Um, wanting to reconnect, wanting you to welcome them back home. Um, and they're going to come in this safe bed energy, wanting you to allow them to come back, okay? But whoever this is, this person is not truly compassionate. This person is in this unrequited love. They don't really have the love for you that they're going to portray themselves to have, okay? So keep running, in other words. Let's get another one for Runner and Aries, Holy Spirit. Stay away from these people. Focus in the reverse, okay? This person was not focused on you. 
this focus this person will not be focused on you when they come back okay with Aquarius energy I'm seeing somebody that's like and this I don't don't take offense to this Aquarius is, talks about the star and the tarot okay so this person has to be center stage this person is not going to be focused on you this is a selfish type of energy that's all about them and this was part of the reason why the divine did not allow this con connection to last or why the divine is urging you to end a connection like this okay this person's all about themselves this person is strategizing right now strategizing in the reverse because nothing they do is going to work unless you are in this open energy unless you are not staying up on your cleansing practices and you see this person coming in as a safe bet that is the only way this person's strategies are going to work hold on y'all all right let's give one more for runner one more for runner please holy spirit okay loves another so this person could be connected with someone else if this is a relationship, I feel like this is also just that this person has an allegiance to the devil, the dark side. Uh, this person is an agent. Let's make it clear. This is all about agents of the devil, fallen angels energy. Okay. Now this person uh, may not, for some of the cases, may not be a horrible person to you. Um, it may be, like I said, this entity will use an empty vessel or any available vessel to connect to you okay so be mindful of that be mindful of anybody you're in the in their energy with you if you're going out somewhere and you're around a lot of people make sure you're protecting your energy wherever you go what's welcome home holy spirit okay i'm hearing set your positive intentions around this time with of this solar eclipse um things that you want to see come to fruition in your physical reality um start speaking that out start visualizing and seeing that start feeling that start being in the energy of what you want to see and feel in your life okay and start moving as though it's here okay let's welcome home of the deck we have maybe in the reverse so the divine is saying it's a no okay this person i said was trying to strategize it's still in the reverse okay this person needs direction okay this person may try to convince you that you need some type of direction and that they're here to help you is what i'm getting this one is spring okay We're in spring right now, so I feel like this again is a right now message. Okay, with spring being in the reverse, I feel like this is a right now message, but there's like an urgency. So there may be some type of circumstance where this person is trying to rush in. Okay, with runner, I feel like this person is trying to rush in and the divine is saying it's a no. So if there's somebody coming back, um trying to come back into your energy trying to come back home to come back to reside with you in some shape or form the divine is saying no they want me to split it <laughs> practice great willpower okay it's a no this person is going to try to attach whatever it is that's attached to them or whatever they are housing this entity the divine is going to uh, is wanting you to decline this person okay let's get the angel let's see what else the divine wants us to know okay spiritual gifts are going to be relevant at this time Increasing our knowledge is important at this time, okay? So, 
if there's something you've been guided to read about or you want to learn more about, they're saying that now is a good time for us to be doing that. This card is card number 15, which breaks down to a six. Increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. Okay. This one says spiritual gifts. Archangel Raziel, thank you for helping me channel my gifts and talents. So I feel like at this time, there's going to be a lot of activations, a lot of upgrades in our spiritual gifts, and a lot of important uh, messages and knowledge that they're wanting us to attain. But again, they just keep bringing me back to this cleanser energy. Yeah, because Archangel Raphael is here. Because I feel like there's going to be so much, so many downloads that are coming through over the next few days and the next few weeks. Um, and they want that we need to be able to discern what these messages are, what they're trying to tell us, who we need to avoid what we need to avoid, where we need to be, this type of thing. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Spirit Guides, what other messages? Okay. So, I'm trying to tell you about clearing our vibes, clearing your energy. This is very important right now. Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Okay? So important. This is the, the one of the most important messages they have for us right now. Archangel Muriel, trust your own wisdom. Have faith in your psychic impressions. Okay? This goes back to the spiritual gifts as well as the cleansing. We cannot trust our intuition if we are not cleansing our energy. If we are in this wavering energy, wavering minds, uncertainty, energy. Um, you won't be able to discern what messages are coming through. Okay, we have honor your beauty. Archangel Joe Field, thank you for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Okay, this is self-love energy. Flaws and all, all of you. Working on the things that we know we need to work on to improve, but loving ourselves all the way through it. Okay, giving ourselves grace, but holding ourselves accountable at the same time. If you know you're supposed to be doing something, we need to get to it. But we don't need to beat ourselves up about it. We're not racing against anything or anyone. We'll get to it when we get to it. But God is saying, just take steps to get to the place that you know you're supposed to be or where you want your personal goal for yourself. And love yourself as I love you. Okay. Archangel Boot Ilium, be interdependent, expand your horizons. Okay, this is, I'm seeing somebody, they're showing me think outside of the box, okay? We are not meant to fit in. We are not meant to be like everybody else. We are not meant to uh, walk the same way, talk the same way, do the same things, okay? Expanding our horizons is having an open mind, um, learning as much as we can learn, looking outside of the box, reading the fine print, okay? Be interdependent while we are here connected, but still independent, if that makes sense. They want me to clarify with one card on these as well. This may be a longer read, um, but it's important, so we're going to get to it. I'm just going to pull one card for each of these. Okay family this is our spirit family they want us to know we they love us they're with us holy spirit holy angels what's clear your vibes why is clear your vibes and archangel metatron here goal okay number one we can't see with blind here we can't see the goal and the objective of the decepticons 
Okay, although we know what their overall goal is, we know what they want to do. They want to destabilize and destroy us. We know that, but we can't see how they're moving when they're moving. So, for example, if your energy, if your energy shifts and you're just in a bad mood, and they are consciously trying to send spell work repeatedly to attack our emotions and we are in a, a funky mood or we I mean some some days you're gonna not have the best emotions okay I was watching a short um, yesterday with Deion Sanders the football player and uh, I, I believe he was talking to I can't remember if it was a rapper or someone and they were asking him how he how he handles his bad days and his response was I don't have bad days I have bad moments or maybe even a bad hour or two but I don't have bad days I thought that that was very very significant and profound and really really good advice for us this is saying okay when circumstances come up and there are going to be different circumstances so please don't drag me in the comments if you are dealing with uh, loss and that those types of things that where you'll be grieving this is not that okay this is just things that are within our control if we have the ability to shift our energy and just allow it to be a bad moment and not let that affect our entire day that is very powerful very powerful it shows a lot of uh, tenacity and diligence and determination, optimism, positivity, okay, faith and trust that, okay, I know that this happened. God, show me what I need to learn. Let me move on out of this. I know that there is a resolution here as well, okay? So I just wanted to share that because I feel like it's really relevant right now because um the the concept of a bad day is very very significant to all of us we've all heard that we've all said i had a bad day um uh, at one time or another but that's something that i'm going to start implementing and not allowing a circumstance to, to ruin my entire day okay um no matter what time of day this thing happens Okay, because we all, we know that there's always going to be something that happens that we don't love. We just have to change our mindset about how we're going to let it affect us, okay? And all that starts with is cleansing your energy, understanding that the Decepticons are going to stay decepticon -y. Understanding that sometimes the Decepticon is our very own mindset and just trying to shift our way out of that, okay? So our goal is to stay in this in this cleansed energy okay their goal is to be able to affect us hoping that we don't cleanse our energy that's why this goal card is clarifying clearing your vibes okay archangel muriel trust your own wisdom have faith in your psychic impressions okay stay ready so you ain't got to get ready this is also attributed to cleansing your energy so that you can trust your psychic impressions, intuitive hits, and spiritual nudges, okay? Trust in your own wisdom. In order to trust in your own wisdom, you got to stay ready. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Honor your beauty. Okay, this is about us taking care of our health, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, okay? Let's honor your beauty, Holy Spirit. Okay, this is robbery on the bottom of the deck with stubbornness. This is us allowing anything to steal our peace and joy. Okay, not listening to the negative thoughts. Not listening to those people that love to talk about how you look, what you have, your clothes, your hair. Um, whether or not they feel you're smart, okay? God is willing us to turn a deaf ear to these types of things, including if it's you saying these things to yourself. First of all, stop saying these types of things to yourself. Pour love into yourself. Close off your mind, body, and spirit to, to low vibrational people that are saying things about you, 
okay? How smart can they be if they use any period of time to speak down on somebody else? Not very bright, okay? So don't worry about that type of thing. You steal your own joy when you allow these types of things to affect your mental capacity, to affect your forward movement, to affect how you look on yourself, okay? Or how you treat yourself, okay? God does not want us in this. This is Decepticon energy towards ourselves if we allow that, okay? And God is also saying, I don't want to hear you talking about yourself like that. Love on yourself, okay? Archangel Bugilio, be interdependent, expand your horizons. I feel like this is also about the card that we saw with increase your knowledge. So at this time, if there's something that we're being guided to learn about while we're in our self-love journey, they're wanting us to do that. What message? Okay. Blessing, okay, and faith. Okay, there are blessings that are going to come in while we are expanding our horizons. You see that horizon just come up? That sun just came up? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, um, some type of faded events are going to occur. Um, okay, I'm hearing shake things up. So you're going to do something different. You're being guided to do something different that's out of your norm. So you're either going to meet someone you're meant to meet you're going to learn something that you're meant to learn about that is going to be, uh, bring about some type of abundance for you or some type of blessing for you. This is fated to happen. That guided me to get one more. What else for Archangel Bugilio? And blessing. So we have coach, bully, trap, and self-love. Something you're going to learn or something you're going to do while you're in this self-love energy is going to help you to trap some type of bully you're connected to. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is also going to help you escape some type of trap that a bully is trying to put you in. Making a different move, okay? This is really all about cleansing our energy and following our intuition. Somebody here, or many of us, are going to be guided in a different direction. The bully is going to anticipate you're doing whatever they're used to you doing so that they could trap you. This is giving me the energy of a football coach that's running plays with a team, okay? Or bask any kind any type of coach, okay? And just say for example, you're playing a team that you know they like to go left on certain uh plays, okay? And this Coach is saying, we know this. they're going to do this, so this is what you're going to do, okay? That type of energy. So when you expand your horizons in this way and do something different, it's, you're going to escape a trap that a Decepticon is trying to set for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. So let's get the next set and see what else. The Holy Spirit wants us to know. Okay, now they just want me to pull these and go through them. So we'll grab our postcard from Spirit. I heard it. And loosen up. Okay. So, <laughs> I feel like this is an ancestor that's uh, speaking to somebody that's a bit tight, a bit rigid, not doing a lot to enjoy yourself at this time. Okay. 
okay? They want you to enjoy yourself. What's the message, period? Okay, got our postcard. Let's get the message from heaven. They're saying there's two here. So there's three. Okay. Heart chakra is significant. Singing and dancing. Somebody is being guided to sing and dance to raise your vibrations. I heard, oh yeah, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, Mr. Postman. Okay, so there's something about a message coming through the mail. Somebody is going to be receiving a message. Ear chakras, okay? Significant. As I said that, you're going to hear some type of message or get some type of news. Emotional sensitivity. So this may bring about some type of emotion. What else, Holy Spirit? Whoa. Okay, books are significant. We saw that on the increase your knowledge and also releasing anything that's not serving us is also very significant at this time. Interesting. As I was pulling these cards up, the card I saw was Miracle. Yeah, it's still here. Beautiful. So there's something significant about miracles because it's here as well. Beautiful. Okay. So we have Miracle and Inspiration. All right. 
So we're going to go through all of these and see what, if anything needs to be clarified and get a few of these too. Archangel Metatron is heavy in the energy today. We love you, Archangel Metatron. We thank you. Archangel Raphael is here as well. Archangel Michael's always here. This one? No. Okay, we have Adventure. One more, please. Two more. Okay. Mindfulness. Okay, what would you like me to start with, Holy Spirit? Okay, so I'll put all these at the bottom down here. So the messages from heaven, these are from our angel spirit guides, ancestors, the divine. It says your intuition is strong. We are reaching out to help. This is almost like an intention that they want you to set. My intuition is strong. This also goes right back to us cleansing our energy so that our intuition can be strong. Okay, we are reaching out to help. They're going to constantly be giving us messages. I cannot stress this enough very important okay another one about health here we care about you we want you to take care of yourself okay this is very important we saw about three different cards talking about our health and honoring our beauty and taking care of ourselves so whatever we've been guided to do we got to get busy on it but again don't stress yourself out about anything just keep trying to do a little bit here and there each day, okay? Nobody is perfect. We're not going to do everything right, okay? Don't beat yourself up about it. Just be mindful and try, okay? We understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we are always here, okay? We're not alone. We have a lot of energetic support around us at all times. This is also giving the energy of relaxation. Somebody here needs to loosen up. We got the beach here, so you may be guided to visit a body of water if you can, or just go do something fun that you love to do, okay? What else? Okay. Okay, something is on this intuition, so I'm being guided to, uh, okay, they want me to just do this first and then start clarifying. Declutter your space. Whether it's your living space, your mind, your workspace, what needs cleaning up to welcome more refreshing and pure air? Your mind will gain more clarity and peace, okay? When I tell you they want us pristine clean in our minds, these downloads, confirmation with the <laughs> beeping sound, these downloads are about to be hitting, okay? I won't be surprised if we get flooded with comments about... <laughs> your guys guiding you to do this or that okay give yourself time to heal i just said don't beat yourself up just keep going keep doing things gradually day by day be patient with yourself show yourself grace but also hold yourself accountable just say okay today i'm gonna do this or i need to at least walk for 10 minutes today or i need to um switch out uh not watch as many videos today or I need to switch out my lunch meals with a salad that type of thing I'm doing these things with y'all as well okay I'm trying to hold myself accountable and trying to also give myself time okay I'm there's no urgency for me to do anything yes our health is very important yes reaching our goals is very important but we are human. We're not going to just do everything. If we do that, we will burn out and stop. I've done it a thousand times in many different ways. So gradual. We ain't, we're not racing against nobody. We don't have to prove anything to anybody. Okay? It says, 
Give yourself time to heal. The feeling of burnout. Did I not just say get burnout? Speak Holy Spirit. The feeling of burnout leaves you being drained. Just one more little thing is too much for you now. Rest. Take a few moments off from the chaos to restore your energies, okay? So some of you that are being guided to just not do anything right now, you'll know if this is for you. If you've been doing too much and you're feeling burnt out, you are being guided to chill and relax. Okay, for those of us that have been chilling, 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 and chilling, <laughs> they're saying, okay, you get to it, you know, start doing things gradually. Just make yourself small, you know, if you to say you'd start doing something that you have been guided to do for five minutes a day then maybe next week you go up to 10 next week 15 next thing you know you'll be doing 30 or 30 minutes or an hour of whatever this is just an example okay but the more you make it like an adventure the more you make things fun it it works out better okay obstacles and blocks are lifted i'm trying to tell you that's what this energy is about transformation healing and opening the door to new opportunities for us this card says all your good personal work and positive energy shift wait all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away you will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects stay centered Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues, okay? So for some of you that are working on projects, you're going to see a lot of momentum in your projects. You're going to receive more downloads and give you new creative ways to um, add to your project or just start something, okay? They're moving away a lot of these blockages, but this card is loaded because... This is what these Agent Smiths are going to be coming for, okay? They are somewhat aware of this surge of energy and that these obstacles and blocks are being moved off of our timeline. So they're going to try to replace the old blockages with new ones. Very important. So what do we do? Be up on our spiritual practices. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of the people that are around you. Be mindful of your very own thoughts, okay? Try to do the things that we're being guided to do to keep ourselves in the best health and the best um, mind state, okay? That's all we've been guided to do. We have quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you will have more clarity about what to do next. The Holy Spirit is speaking. My goodness. Okay. Disconnect. Get that spiritual bath in. Those meditations, prayers, and connecting. Quiet time to yourself to just allow the divine to speak to you. Ask your spirit guides and ancestors what you need to know. Ask the angels what you need to know. Okay, and be open, declutter your mind so that you can discern and hear, so that you can use your intuition effectively. Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to be getting some messages through music, okay? We saw singing and dancing, and I feel like when you do that with music, your spirit guides and ancestors are going to be sending you a lot of messages. Also, they're saying what you're reading. There are going to be a lot of messages coming through with the books that you're reading. I believe everything is a message. I mean, God gives me messages in the most uh, unusual ways anything i get messages off of anything so i feel like that's what we're all going to be experiencing more of okay books books are definitely significant so, so you could be doing a lot of writing and reading at this time you're going to be receiving a lot of messages through books okay let's get these 
and then so far I'm being like guided to clarify the intuition card and the obstacles card okay mindfulness be mindful of another's feelings and needs someone needs your love right now a loving thought is all it takes okay so you could be guided to show love to someone that you are nudged to okay and they're also saying be mindful of what your needs are and love on yourself as well okay and be mindful of your thoughts i'm hearing that strong okay let's try to steer away from the i can't and it won't be and that type of energy and they're wanting us to start proclaiming a favorable outcome over our situations okay all already affirming a resolution for anything that we're dealing with and believing it okay and then your mind will find a creative way <laughs> to find a creative potential of a resolution okay because your mind starts searching for it your spirit guides start reaching out to help giving you downloads on what to do how to move okay they can see far beyond where we can so we're we're so blessed to have the connection if you think about it like they can see and god only allows even our spirit guides and angels to give us so much because we might you know people have a tendency to get too big for their britches if you can see too much if you know what i mean um so god can see far ahead but you know they're giving us these downloads gradually but it's such a blessing to be able to get a nudge to uh i, I foresee a blockage over there this is what you're going to do you're going to go that way or uh maybe don't leave quite yet or maybe you should leave now instead of waiting those types of things you just never know what you're avoiding i've seen the evidence of that so many times when i was guided just to uh, postpone an appointment or go earlier than uh, i was supposed to or go later than i was supposed to or not answer the phone or answer the phone that type of thing when i get those nudges i'm learning not to discredit my intuition but in order to do that effectively i have to be really mindful of my cleansing practices clearing my mind and especially with connecting with so much energy by doing these messages and picking up on a lot of energy i would be a mess if i didn't cleanse my energy and some days i'm not as up on it as i should be but i mean we've got to really 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 be mindful in this season because the devil's angry right now god is moving in our lives i'm seeing the evidence of this rising of the spiritual beings in the world right now more so than i've ever experienced and the devil's angry about that because we're waking up okay we're waking up we're starting to recognize that we hold the power and that it's all about the mindset and they're mad so they're about to try it they're about to try to get crafty okay they're about to use the people that we love the most to try to get to us they're about to uh try to find some loopholes to make some effective change in a negative way and we're just not having it and all we need to do is stay connected, keep our energy cleansed, stay positive, okay? Knowing that these situations that may not be the best for us are temporary setbacks. We're not intended to stay in those positions. We're only intended to gain the knowledge that we need to gain and move on, okay? All right. So mindfulness. Yeah, let's be mindful of the Decepticon intentions, okay? We have adventure. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all of the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between, okay? This is 
a really beautiful way to think. Okay? Outside of the box thinking. Um, this is seeing some situation, like I just said, that's not the best situation as a means for you to use, sharpen your intuition, connect with your guides, um, test your intuition by if you're following it and seeing how it works and if it's uh, allowing you to resolve the situation, maintain a positive energy, learn a lesson, okay, then you can look at it like an adventure. Okay, it's not an easy thing to do, okay? Because when you're going through, again, you, you don't always want to be in this, what can I learn from this <laughs> type of energy? Of course not. But if we can condition ourselves to just, just say, okay, let me quiet my mind. Let me connect with my guys. Let me figure this out and not get up in arms and frustrated and then start thinking negatively okay since this didn't happen now i can't do this and that's gonna affect this and go down uh that path and then so shall it be okay that will manifest if that's what you believe because you're aligning yourself with that unfavorable outcome and the universe is going to reciprocate that energy okay creative potential you by nature you are by nature infinitely creative. Life is sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desires. Okay, this is for the person that I was picking up on before the read that is so pressed and worried about what you're going to do, what purpose, uh, what's your purpose. So it's like they want you to do something that will allow you to express yourself that will make you happy okay I've done many reads and everybody is not going to do the same things to contribute to the vibration raising the vibration of humanity there's some people that are going to do some grand gesture and um, have a lot of financial resources to create a change monetarily that's going to help everybody raise their vibration others are just going to be a walking uh, example of how to stay positive in difficult situations by still keeping a positive attitude by giving a smile by saying hello by complimenting somebody by not reciprocating negative energy when somebody does it to you you are just as important to God and to the universe and to raising the vibration of humanity as someone that's got some type of organization that's feeding people all over the world, okay? This is what God is saying. This is the energy that I'm picking up. God is saying by you, wherever you are, whatever capacity you have, the ability to being a positive person, spreading love, helping people when you can you see somebody dropping something that's having difficulty picking it up by helping that person you are going to affect the life of that person which will in turn potentially affect the lives of many people the creative potential okay it doesn't have to be you um for example this you know many people are going to do something like this this is beautiful this is why I get so frazzled by the whole idea of stealing content, which is not a nice thing to do, okay? But if somebody is stealing this to use it to uplift people in the world, to bring about change, to bring about encouragement, I don't care. I, that's what we're supposed to be doing, okay? We're supposed to be doing things that are going to help everybody. Does this mean that I want somebody being me? No. <laughs> Everybody got their own way of doing things, their own gifts. But do I want this message to get out to people that I haven't reached that are not on my channel? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
I would love to see these, this same spread on somebody else's table that presents the message in a different way. Somebody may have uh, a different gift that can pick up something totally different from this same spread that they share with the world. That's beautiful. We're all supposed to be doing things to uplift each other. There's been a lot of back and forth in the the spiritual community with people attacking each other, um, people speaking down on each other is ridiculous. It helps to identify those that do not have the true divine objective, okay? When they do that, you can easily say, hmm, this person is not here for the greater good. This person is not here to spread love and light and awareness to the spiritual community. This person is here for self. This person is affected by those that are here for that reason. Um, and they're not, they don't have our, our best interest. Okay. So I got off track a little bit, but we all have different gifts different creative ways to contribute as long as you're not a part of the Decepticon energy as long as you're not creating more issues lowering the vibration of humanity God is pleased with that whatever you can do whatever you have the ability to do as long as you do that it doesn't matter okay we have diversity the world would be a boring place if we were all the speak Holy Spirit <laughs> the world would be a boring place if we were all the same celebrate your uniqueness you are special and much love okay the divine is wanting to pour it to whoever you are okay because somebody is looking at oh, I could do that too or I could do this I could do that God is saying is, is it gonna make you happy is it something you're gonna get up and be excited to do is it gonna make you feel good in others whatever that is if it's something that somebody else is doing, do it. That you feel happy about doing, you're going to put your own spin on it. I, I wish to see people that are wanting to do this same thing, that tweak it and do something different and add to it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so be you is what I'm hearing. Courage. You have what it takes. <laughs> Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is such a beautiful message. All right. Let's get these. We're going to read uh, the Spirit's message last. Okay. They want me to do the angel numbers before the message from Spirit. So, first, inspiration. A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. I'm trying to tell you these downloads are about to be thick. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. This is beautiful. This is all contingent upon us keeping our energy and mind clear, decluttering our mind, because these downloads, I'm trying to tell you, are about to start hitting. Ideas for new projects, okay? All of this stuff is it's about to start flowing in and I'm, I'm feeling like within the next week strong okay miracle dearest one even if all hope seems lost let not hope slip away for I your guardian angel am constantly by your side surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love please believe that you are never alone Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. I'm trying to tell you. Let's get these angel numbers, guys. All 
All right, so we got angel number 1111. Angel number 1111 is considered a message from your spirit guide that you are on the right path and will receive guidance and blessings in your journey through life. Angel number 11 talks about stability, divine unions, divine partnerships, your soul plan or your destiny, okay, a spiritual awakening, a spiritual wake up call, prompting you to pay attention to your thoughts and intentions okay okay again thoughts and intentions they're one of setting our intentions so this is a time period where you are deciding something or the things that you want the things that you want to see large or small and setting the intentions to be in that energy Okay, this is affirming. When you affirm, you don't really ask for something to happen. You are stating with authority that it's happening. You even state how you feel about it happening. I'm so excited and grateful for all of this that I have received or whatever it is. Okay, now that I have whatever this thing is, I'm so grateful and so excited. Okay, and be grateful and excited. That's the key. You're telling the universe, you've already sent this to me and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful for it. And then you act accordingly. You don't still saying, you don't start saying, when is this coming? Or why haven't I? That's not a part of it. Because if that's the case, what you have affirmed, you did not intend to affirm. I hope you're following me. Okay, let's get angel number 333. Angel number 333 encourages you to set plans into action. <laughs> Let your personal strength be the guide. Trust yourself and put thought into your choices. The spiritual awakening and guidance Encountering angel number 333 may signify that you are on the cusp of a spiritual awakening, okay? That the spirit room is trying to connect with you, okay? Um, there's something else here. Angel number 333 is considered to be an angel number that is so, that is said to represent creativity, good luck, positivity, growth, and good communication from the spirit realm. Okay, this is all about our angels connecting with us, and this is about to be amped up. Okay, the veil is thinning. The connection, as long as we are open and receptive, receptive, as long as we are calling upon our angels and spirit guides to help us, to protect us, to guide us, to be with us, to uh, help us understand things, that is going to be happening, okay, on a large scale. And let's get angel number 12 as well. I'm hearing a song. Everywhere I go, every smile I see, I know you are there, smiling back at me, dancing in moonlight, I know you are me. Okay, that's a song by Janet Jackson. Everywhere I go, every smile I see, I know you are there. Okay, this is a the angel presence, the spirit guides, our energetic, uh, our spirit team being with us, okay, all the time, all the time. Okay, angel number 12. There are times when I feel your love around me, okay? You you might be feeling the presence, okay? Some of you may be feeling the presence around you as well. Okay. 
Okay, angel number 12. Angel number 12 symbolizes being confident in your abilities and skills and using them towards achieving your goals, using your talents to change humanity, humanity for the better, letting go of old habits, showing love and respect to your family and surrounding yourself with positivity. Okay, but I don't know if there's something else here. Angel number 12 means something in your life has been completed and it's time to turn your attention away from the past and look into the future, okay? New horizon energy, okay? We saw something early in this read about new horizon, expanding your horizon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so this is a very cohesive message, but there's also bits and pieces of it that each of us are going to uh, implement different, differently going forward. So let's see what the message from spirit is oh okay nope they said clarify intuition and obstacles before i move forward thank you holy spirit your intuition is strong we are reaching out to help Okay, so they're going to give us some ideas, specific reasons what of, or ideas about what they're going to be letting us know through our intuition. Thank you, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, our angels. We love you so much. We're so grateful for all of the messages. What is your intuition is strong world card somebody we just read about somebody closing out a cycle and moving forward so instruction on how to move forward that's a message for somebody also instruction on something that you're going to be doing online okay somebody starting a new project that may be something you're doing online maybe a business online okay someone with the lover's card here someone may be moving forward into a connection that the angels are going to be giving you messages about it's a lot of messages on this intuition what else holy spirit the sun okay illumination to clear up confusion so with the sun card Somebody is going to be getting some spiritual nudges to have more fun, okay? To relax, to enjoy the sun, okay? To maybe get outdoors more often, to see any red flags that are presenting themselves, okay? Um, something about inner child healing with this child here. There's a lot, wow, a lot of messages here. To help clear up confusion, any anxiety that somebody's feeling, you're going to get a lot. We're going to be getting a lot of downloads through our intuition about a lot. They want me to get two more. Yeah. What else for the intuition and downloads, Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, angelic energy, they are going to be pouring into us a lot of messages about balancing situations out about balancing your energy and emotion this is cups energy this is giving me um Somebody's guardian angel is urging them to release some type of emotion that you're holding on to. Somebody here needs to cry. Somebody here needs to release it. Someone in particular, your guardian angel that is with you, they're seeing you in this eight of swords and they're seeing you not release. Okay. This is specific for somebody. They're wanting you, they're trying to give you downloads to purge this emotional energy. 
and they're around you. They're around you all the time. They're trying to pour into you. They're trying to connect to you. But your mind is cluttered. Okay. So they're wanting you to clear your energy. Um, doing some clearing meditations. Energy clearing meditations. A lot I'm hearing. Somebody needs to really continuously start doing that. Meditating quietly. But you need to cry because I feel like this is what's creating the blockage for your intuition not to be able to you not to be able to get any downloads because this is just on your mind. Whatever this is that has you in the eight of swords, you are not open and receptive to any downloads. And there's a lot that you're going to have coming up in this coming season that they are going to want to help you with, but they can't until you release what is what you are bound to right now. Three of Cups, this is your guides trying to help you, specifically one guardian angel, but there's your whole spirit team is wanting to connect with you and help you, okay? Anything else on the temperance? This is heavy. Anything else? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, the high priestess, this is about intuition. This is them wanting to give you a lot of messages. There's something coming up for you, major, major, but... They cannot release this information to you until you are out of this Eight of Swords. So whatever this is. Why are we seeing the Eight of Swords? Oh my goodness. Holy Spirit. God is <laughs> trying to connect as well. Gabriel was trying to blow the horn to get your attention. Okay. This is very important. Whoever you are. If you are somebody that's dealing with a difficult situation that you have not released, you have not cried about it, this may be, this may, okay, I heard no. So this is not about a loss. This is something else. I was thinking that, but no, they said no. Okay, anything else on the temperance and the high priestess? Yeah, whatever this was with the tower. So wherever you are, you're... You're kind of stuck in this energy right now. What do you want this person to do, Holy Spirit? Okay, <laughs> go and hurt me. They're answering like right away. This is all about you connecting in hermit, meditating, praying, connecting. Okay, there's a book, Holy Spirit. What am I getting? Hermit and book. Okay, hold on. They're guiding me to get a book to read a passage to you. Hold on. Okay, so they guided me to this A Year of Self-Care book um, by Dr. Zoe Shaw. There's a bunch of different um, self-care uh, passages in here that are always helpful. And there's something here they're saying. Holy Spirit, what is the message for our loved one? Okay, self-love is respecting my beautiful body, yet it is, yet, yes, it is beautiful. It was divinely designed especially for me, a sacred creation which brings me limitless opportunities to experience myself in each moment. Okay, so there's something, whoever I'm picking up on, there's something that has to do with how you're feeling about yourself. But this, what they're telling me is that it is attributed to something someone else on the outside of you has done. Okay? Some type of situation, whether it was relationship, some type of connection. This person had a light on you, whoever I'm picking up on. And this person said a lot of things that were hurtful to you. 
it made you see yourself in some type of way and now you are blocked off okay so you're in the eight of swords not able to think or focus on anything not able to connect okay so they're wanting you to love on you okay love yourself know you know that you are beautiful tell yourself that you are beautiful tell yourself i love you okay see yourself as god sees you okay when you clear your mind whoever you are you have some powerful angels around you when you clear your mind and start being open to receive these intuitive hits you could be a high priestess but i feel like this is coming out because your intu intuition is completely blocked is what they're saying that's why this is here okay they are going to pour so much love into you. They are going to show you how beautiful you are. Whatever, Whoever you are, you are a happy person or you were a happy person. And whatever this was, whoever this person was or these people are that have hurt you or made you feel less than or not beautiful, forget them folks, first of all, okay? anybody is in the business of tearing anybody else down is not worth a lot okay so I pray that this message gets to the right person because there is a lot of emotional uh, energy here but it's like turning to anger okay there with this red right now but they want to show you who you are they want to remind you of who you are thank you Holy Spirit you have a really powerful spiritual team of, of angels that want to pour love into you and remind you of who you are okay so that's what they wanted me to show you you could benefit from getting like a self-love book or just if you don't want to buy a book i like you know i'm old school i like book books but if you like to um to scroll on your phone and and read over some self-love tips or um affirmations i am beautiful god loves me just as i am okay message okay i'm back so this is a perfect example of how god just <laughs> uses anything for a message um like i said i'm beginning to really not question my intuition the phone call i got was from a number that i have no idea what this number is but my spirit guy says, yeah, you need to answer the phone, okay? And I needed to answer the phone. Typically, these crazy numbers, I'm like, nah. Most of the time, I'm just, if I don't know, I, I'm not answering. There's a lot of nonsense going on. But I happened to, to answer this time. I was guided to do it. And I absolutely did need to answer the phone. So this is what this whole message is about. Just making sure that we have a clear mind so that we can get these very important spiritual nudges. Anything else on intuition? Okay, they said one more overall. Okay, this fell down. Crossing, give yourself time to heal. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you this season. Spiritual messages coming in. A lot of communication that the spirit realm is wanting to send into us this isn't this is clarifying the overall energy okay the spirit realm is, is trying to talk okay they want to guide us on how this is going to come about how we're going to get to this place of ten of Pentacles very important okay obstacles and blocks are being lifted okay they want me to grab a different tarot deck for this one obstacles okay I'm hearing hidden enemies okay moon card to the knight of wands it's really a knight of wands in reverse but they said split it okay hidden enemies agents agent Smith energies okay they have moved a lot of blockages already out of our way the path is clear for us to work on our projects that we're going to get the downloads okay 
but there's something here that they want us to know. I can't make it up. Decepticons, they're about to start trying it, okay? Five of Wands to the Decepticon, <laughs> okay? Chaos and conflict, deception, lies, cheating, a lot of BS, okay? I'm trying to tell y'all. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit, about the obstacles and blocks? Justice, but God, okay? This is contingent upon, again, us balancing out our energy, not being in this energy of five of wands, this chaos and conflict in the mind state, clearing our mind. What's on this justice card, Holy Spirit? I think that's too many. What's the justice? Ten of Swords in the reverse, okay? So, this is what they're trying to do to us, y'all. This is what they're always going to be trying to do to us. To hurt us, to betray us, to keep us down so that we cannot connect. We cannot follow our intuition. The downloads that we receive, we don't, I mean, that they're trying to send us, we don't receive. Then we become open for this we become the target, okay, for them to hit us. But this is in the reverse. They're trying to keep this cleared out. A lot has already been cleared out. And our spirit guides are saying, okay, look, we've cleared out a lot already. Justice is here. These ten of swords are in the reverse, okay? Everything is fine. Stay open. So that when we send these messages to you, you know how to move, what to do, Okay? What do we need to do? Be open to receive the messages. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Stay connected. Two of Cups. Stay connected. Two of Wands. Planning. Okay? Making plans. Moving in the right direction. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. We are protected. Okay? Protect your energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. And lastly, this is a long read, y'all, but this is important. Okay, here we go. Dearest you, pump up the music, bang the drums, get on up and start that hustle towards your goals and dreams. There are times to be still, but this is not one of them. Now is the time to make that first move say yes to life pick up the phone make that decision and take that one step toward the gods or us connecting <laughs> speak holy spirit stay connected they said read that sentence over now is the time to make that first move say yes to life pick up the phone make that decision and take that one step towards the gods or us expect a cascade of changes good news and opportunities to show up as if by magic well we know it's really spirit and all of us your spirit guides angels and ancestors moving things around for your benefit the point is that we are saying to go for it take positive action towards your dreams even if the outcome isn't an exact fit for your agenda, it will all be orchestrated by spirit and arrive in divine appropriate timing. Don't you just love how it all works out? We love you so, so much. Telling y'all, this shift, this energy, this solar eclipse energy is serious, okay? There's a lot that the spirit realm, our spirit guides are trying to bring in at this time, okay? It just starts with us taking that one step to connect through our intuition, keeping it clear so that we're getting these very important downloads. Very, very important. I can't stress enough, but I think I have stressed enough. <laughs> I love you, family. I really hope that this message helped you. Okay, we are in Mercury retrograde, so be mindful of a little 
cuckoo uh, cuckoo incidents happening, uh, engaging with folks that are just seem a little loopy, um, devices and gadgets malfunctioning, that type of energy. Um, it's retrograde, so we already know. Just um, stay proactive, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. I love you, family. I really hope that this message has been helpful. If so, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, join the family. I would love to have you. Until next time, family. Um, check the light first goodie bag if you're in need of a meditation. If you feel inclined to donate or if you need a reading, check the description box for my information. Mwah. Peace and blessings. Ashe.